soil temperatures in eastern Nebraska this week are between 54 and 55 degrees. That's an important consideration to keep in mind when starting your spring vegetable garden. Each vegetable has a specific temperature that's preferred for germination. Ideally, you want the soil temperature to be 10 degrees above the ideal minimum and below the maximum temperature for that vegetable. This is important because having warm soils will get your seeds and your transplants off to a fast start, which allows them to grow quickly and outgrow any minor insect problems that might be present in the garden. And it also makes the roots more efficient and more functional. Uh, monitoring soil temperatures are particularly important to ensure successful planting when we have unusual spring conditions, such as this spring's extended cold temperatures. With soil temperatures of 54 to 55, many vegetables can be seeded now, including beets, cabbage, carrots, celery, lettuce, onions, parsley, pea, radish, spinach, Swiss chard, turnip, and parsnip. Transplants of broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and tomatoes can also be planted, but it would be best to wait a little bit longer until soil temperatures are above 60 degrees before planting beans, cucumbers, melons, peppers, and squash. For more information on specific soil temperature requirements for vegetables, take a look at NEBGUIDE G2090. That one's called Vegetable Garden Seed Storage and Germination Requirements. And you can always find your county's current soil temperatures available on the Backyard Farmer website. Of course, soil temperatures vary quite a lot across the state. And even from the microclimates within a city and in the country, there can be differences. If you would like to measure your own specific soil temperature in your garden, it can easily be done with a soil thermometer. Uh, if you don't have a soil thermometer, you can usually find one at your local nursery and garden center. Uh, measure the soil temperature in an area of full sun and put the thermometer in the ground to a depth of about four inches and that will give you your own individual soil temperature reading for your garden.